パープラネット TV の白石はじめです日本政府は今放射線の基準値を決める際 ICRP 国際放射線防護委員会という国際機関,機関の基準をもとにしていますこの ICRP という機関は原子力を推進している IAEA との関係が深く内部被爆についてはほとんど研究を行っていません今日のコンタクトはこの ICRP とは一線を画し内部被爆や定量被爆を中心に研究している欧州放射線リスク委員会 ECRR のクリストファー・バズビー博士のインタビューをお伝えしますでは特集の前に1週間のニュースです東京電力福島第一原子力発電所事故に関連し政府の指定している避難地域から強制的に避難した被災者だけでなく自主避難をしている住民に対しても損害賠償を支払うように求める抗議行動が7月29日文部科学省前で行われました子どもの健康被害などを懸念して福島から首都圏に避難している住民が次々にマイクを握り家族がバラバラになり経済的な負担が大きいなど悲痛な表情で訴えました原発事故の損害賠償の枠組みを議論している原子力損害賠償紛争審査会の中間指針では自主避難に対する保障について一切言及していません主催した市民団体は自主避難者が正当な賠償を受けられるよう引き続き要請を行うことにしています来年度に予定されている動物愛護管理法の改正に向けて7月30日東京都内にある文教シビックセンターで動物愛護法改正セミナーが開催されました主催したのは地球生物会議アライブ会場にはおよそ80人が集まり環境省に設置された動物愛護管理の在り方検討小委員会でどのような議論が行われているのか報告が行われました検討委員会では現在インターネットを通じたペットの販売を禁止することなどが検討されていますセミナーでは改正案に同案が盛り込まれるよう環境省が募集しているパブリックコメントを送ろうと呼びかけが行われました福島や宮城など複数の県で飼育されている肉牛がすべて出荷停止となっている中8月3日各地の畜産農家などが東京千代田区の東京電力本店前に集まり出荷の停止などで受けた被害に対する賠償を直ちに行うよう訴えました今回集まったのは福島県や茨城県群馬県などの畜産農家や米農家野菜農家などおよそ350人千葉県内の畜産農家が育てている肉牛や餌の稲わらを乗せたトラックを並べ肉牛の出荷停止による被害や風評被害など全ての被害に対して直ちに賠償するよう訴えましたでは特集です。7月17日から21日まで来日していた欧州放射線リスク委員会のクリス・バズビー博士のインタビューをご覧いただきましょうインタビュアーはジャーナリストの松本千恵さんです欧州放射線リスク委員会のクリストファー・バズビー博士長年内部被爆や定量被爆の研究を重ねてきました今回は福島の子ども14人が放射線の低い地域での教育を求めて起こしたいわゆる福島集団疎開裁判を支援するために来日福島県内を含め4カ所で講演を行うとともに放射性物質の調査を行いました You're here in Japan this time、uh, regarding the children's、uh, lawsuit concerning children's health and safety and also demanding that the government actually evacuate all the children out of Fukushima Um, but the Japanese government has not considered、uh, the standard level or the safety, safe level of, of radiation in Japan. And, and they, they said that it's okay to, they've been saying that it's okay to, to play around in, outside. And they have, not been, they have not considered any mass evacuation out of Fukushima. What do you think about that? We do feel that the Japanese government is quite wrong, criminally wrong, in fact. N、not to organize the,、um, the evacuation of at least children and probably also adults from areas where the radiation levels are high, the, the contamination levels are high.、Mm -hmm. 
Now, with, with regard to that, the, the governments are never uh, 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 an organisation. They also con they they always consist of individuals, mm -hmm. and it's the individuals in those governments that make decisions. Um, that these decisions are wrong, and they fail to act on that, mm -hmm. then there are such things in the past as war crimes. Uh, in the case of the Second World War, of course, Hitler decided as a government, the, the National Socialist government, that they could put the Jewish people in concentration camps mm -hmm. and gas them. Mm -hmm. These were all decisions made by a government, but ultimately an individual is responsible. And, and uh, although those were considered to be war crimes, it, to my mind this is equally well a war crime, mm. although it's happened in peacetime, right. and these people who were individually responsible and can mm -hmm. be named, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know what the names are, but mm -hmm. these people exist, uh, ultimately I think they may have to face some kind of, uh, a kind of trial that would result in, in, in them going to jail for a very mm -hmm. long time. The, J the Japanese government has adopted ICRP standard model. Um, but at the, at the same time, it hasn't actually followed or protect. Uh, it hasn't actually uh, kept the ICRP warning. Uh, you have you have criticized the ICRP model. And what what your uh, stance on that toward get the Japanese okay. government? Okay. Well, in, in a sense, that? the government has. Uh, remained within the constraints mm -hmm. that laid down by the ICRP because I believe that the ICRP permits uh, up to 20 millisieverts exposure in emergency situations and clearly this is an emergency situation. Mm -hmm. um, the, norm, the normal uh, uh, acceptable limit um, is, uh, is, is one millisievert but this, this is from all sources and, uh, and, and most interpretations of this, for instance in the United States and in Europe, uh, reduce that down to about 0.1 millisievert for exposure from a single source. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, whichever way you look at it, the Japanese government has permitted people already mm -hmm. to be exposed to higher levels than 1 millisievert. And mm -hmm. my own belief, having done these air filter experiments, uh, is that probably a very large number of people will have been exposed higher than 20 millisieverts mm -hmm. from internal radionuclides. Wow. Yeah. The, the Japanese government is completely out of order. Mm. Uh, in, in making the decisions that, it, that it's made. And, and, if, and as I said in the last uh, answer, if it continues, now that it has this information from the ECRR model mm -hmm. and from the measurements that we've made, it continues to pursue this course of action, then I believe that it's acting uh, in, in some criminal sense, in some sense, uh, uh, as a criminal organization, mm -hmm. and ultimately will be, will be brought to justice in some right. way. Right. You said that there is a difference between ICRP between the actual and models, yes, the there, there models. is a difference, yeah. Uh, right. Could you explain that a little bit, uh, okay. what, why it's... Uh... Okay. Well, the, the first thing you have to know is that the ICRP model doesn't work. So if you predict the number of cancers after an exposure to internal radionuclides, you get the wrong answer. Well, the ICRP model uh, was set up in 1952, and DNA wasn't discovered until 1953. Mm -hmm. The ICRP uh, was, asked, uh, was set up in order to, uh, to look at the health effects of the radiation exposures from the manufacture of atom bombs. Mm -hmm. That's what it was for. Because uh, after, after the Second World War, there was a massive expansion in the manufacture of atom bombs, and plutonium and uranium and all these substances which were like normally not there mm -hmm. were being released all over the place. So the ICRP had to quickly figure out how to deal with this. Mm -hmm. And so the way in which they did it was, 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 was take a, a physics-based approach. So and they're mostly physicists, because it was physicists who do this stuff. Mm -hmm. And to a physicist, the, the easy, what you do is you, is you reduce everything to the simplest format right. in order to get a mathematical equation. Because you can't write down a mathematical equation about a person, it's too complicated. Mm. So what they did is they turned a person into a bag of water. And then they, they said that the exposures had to be uh, um, regulated on the basis of the amount of energy that was, was trans transmitted into the bag of water. It's kind of simple. Right. It was very easy to do that. It's a very simple model. You, you have a bag of water in the shape of a person, you put a thermometer inside it, yeah. you fire radiation in it, and you see if the temperature goes up. Right. And that, that enables you to, 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 to define absorbed dose. Right. 
But the model actually is uh, ICRP because it's uh, because it's promoting or from their point of view, from their promoting uh, the the promoting nuclear energy, nuclear uh, power. Well, plants they wouldn't say no. They wouldn't say that they're promoting anything. They would right. say that they're an independent structure of of scientists who independently assess the risks from radiation. Mm. They would never ever say that they're promoting nuclear power. Right, but that it's that's just how it happens. It's just how it works out. This all happens behind the scenes. Mm. Actually, I mean, many of us believe that they were originally set up to promote nuclear weapons, mm. or rather not to promote them, but to prevent people from stopping their development. That's mm. what it was about. So all those people who said, oh, look, you know, there's all this strontium-90 in the milk and little Jimmy's got leukemia, mm -hmm. they could say, well, it's nothing to do with the nuclear weapons because we, we can tell you that the doses are too low. Right. That's what it was originally about. And when the doctors started to complain about this, mm -hmm. what they did is they constrained the doctors. So in 1959, they forced the WHO to, into an agreement with the IAEA, mm -hmm. whereby the IAEA was responsible for radiation and health. Mm -hmm. The International Atomic Energy Agency mm -hmm. was responsible for health. And the WHO, the World Health Organization, was, was not allowed to, to, to think about radiation. It mm -hmm. had to think about mosquitoes and, and, right. and stuff, you know, and AIDS. Mm. Yeah. So there was a quite clear distinction there. Hmm. So that was almost proof, if you like, that that that, that it was uh, that the that the ICRP was there to kind of like control the understanding of risk, and th and they still are. That's still where they are. And is that why is that why the standard their model is set up not to high, uh, Look at internal this, radiation. Their safety level, right? Yes, yeah, sure. Not I believe so. Of course, they would never admit it. Right. I just wanted to ask you about the your past experience with testifying in court in similar cases. Uh, you said that you have testified more than 40 times, maybe across the world. Yes. I've done quite a few court cases in which I've used the ECR model mm -hmm. um, to act as an expert witness for people who've been harmed by radiation mm -hmm. exposure, internal radiation. Mm -hmm. uh, a number of different examples in the United States, people who worked with radioactive substances, people who lived near a nuclear power station, uh, people who lived near a nuclear site in Los Angeles was mm -hmm. one. Um, and in the United Kingdom, I'm, I'm an expert witness on a number of court cases and tribunals relating to uh, veterans of the nuclear atomic That's testing. Right. That's right. Now, all of these, what they all have in common mm -hmm. is that these people have suffered, uh, developed cancer mm -hmm. uh, or leukemia, uh, and this was following the uh, internal exposure to exactly the same sort of substances that we're talking about here right. in Japan. And in every one of those cases, uh, we have succeeded. Mm -hmm. that, and so, the, the, so, if you like to see it as a sort of a boxing match or some kind of contest mm -hmm. between the ICRP and the ECRR. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to say that if you put that in court mm -hmm. with, um, with a jury mm -hmm. or with an unbiased judge or mm -hmm. with a tribunal of three judges, they always find in favor of the ECRR uh, um, right. interpretation and never in favor of the ICRP. And yeah. indeed, the defense in all of these cases have, have singularly failed to bring any expert witnesses in, into court mm -hmm. to, to, um, to, uh, to testify that the ICRP model is right. Because actually it's really quite difficult to testify that it's right, right since all of the evidence shows that it's wrong. Mm. And in a court, you rely on the evidence. So mm. it's no good saying, hey, this is the ICRP and everybody believes it, and look at this guy, he's, you know, he's the head of the ICRP and isn't he important and all of mm. that stuff. Because mm. in court, that doesn't, that doesn't cut any ice, you mm. know. So if you had a chance, and if, you, if uh, the Japanese plaintiffs invited you to, oh sorry, uh, the Japanese plaintiffs. In the Koryama case. In Koryama yeah. case, they invited you over to testify, right. would you do that? Well, I will, I'm quite happy to testify and produce a report on right. this right. as an expert witness. And if I were going to testify, I would want to testify by video link. I absolutely don't want to go anywhere near this, because having seen what I've seen about the radiation levels, I, I'm too frightened mm. to go closer to... Uh, to this site then about 100 kilometers and even 100 kilometers I'm not too happy about. I was in Eizu Wakabatsu and the, the, there was a sig the significant amount of radioactivity on the ground there mm -hmm. which I didn't expect. Right. I've been quite shocked by the amount that I found here with my machinery that I brought. Right.